If four gate going to go on four gateways now. Probably, probably going to see Bisu adding in his fourth as well. But yeah, he's just going to go for a high temple army. Going to get some storms rather than reverse carabs. And going to try to get some upgrades as well. Bisu on the opposite. Went for reaver before shuttle. So he's going to try to play a little bit defensive. He's going to try to hold this off here. And of course, the good thing about reavers is that if you play defensively, they can just sit still and bomb bombard their opponents from range. Also getting still with dunes. So we're going to see what this is going to be. Detect a high templar or just to get some speed on some zealots. So you can get some more zealots out there and make them be just a little bit more effective. More <laughs> more gateways being added in by Shuttle, so he's going to just get a huge army going. Definitely going to be getting some high Templar. You need some additional gateways to pump your high Templar alongside your ground and still keep a decent uh, ground army pump. Bisu, of course, going to have that Reaver Shuttle in there. Bisu, very good uh, Shuttle Micro. He's re very capable in that regard. Just now adding in his additional gateways. Coming a little bit later, his uh, th uh, fourth to sixth gateways coming a little bit later. But wasn't really producing much aside from some Dragoons before he did anything else, getting his observers out. They're going to spot an observer in there for shuttle. Oddly enough, not yet. Finally, not going to go move back one of his uh, few of his Dragoons to go and pick that observer off. Shuttle actually moving his own forces. I'm wondering if he's going to think this is going to be an observer, an opportunity for him of some sort. Uh, one more one more shot, and the observer go goes out and picks that off. Pull for another play really going for uh, an aggressive action at this point. And there is going to be a DT out there for shuttle. I thought he was going to go for high Templar, but... He's going to go for a slightly ris riskier play. Uh, at least with his DT, if Bisu decides to pick up an additional expansion, uh, the DT is going to have a very easy time denying that. We're going to see now whether the pro spots the stream of the DT. DT! Oh, man. Bisu. Bisu's... Oh, dear lordy. There was a cannon in there. Now is it going to be a question, is there a cannon inside the main? There is a cannon inside the main. But So the DT... Yeah, Observer also in the DT is going to die before doing any sort of damage. Bisu Shuttle almost getting sniped. Meanwhile, going to try to go for a reaver attack at the natural expansion. Shuttle spotting that on the way most likely with his observers and being ready for that. So Bisu, if he wants to use this uh, shuttle observers, he's going to have to go in here at the natural expansion and use it on the ground, get that reaver down on the ground, try to get some scarabs off. No high Templar on the ground. Uh, there we go, high Templar. Just I was going to say that. High Templar getting a huge storm on top of all those Dragoons. No dodging from Bisu. He's getting some decent scarabs off, though. Very damaged shuttle, though. He can't uh, use it wise that anymore, but beautiful storms there from shuttle right on top of a huge clump of Bisu's Dragoons, and that just... Pushed Bisu back with absolutely nothing. Bisu's going to have a, a small contain in there, but still not in a very good position. Getting a huge amount of those troops damaged and also a very heavily damaged shuttle, so that's not going to help him out. Shuttle. Oh god, saying shuttle and shuttle. Yeah, Bisu's also going to put down his third as he contains shuttle. Shuttle actually now going to start to uh, break out here. Picks off an observer, moving out with those zealots running at the front. Also going to pick up his third. Bisu actually has a DT in there, going to go in there and try to deny this. New base. I think there's a, yeah, there is a cannon morph again, so T's gonna go for the cannon. Might actually, yeah, I was like, yeah, cannon, we're gonna force it, uh, gonna force that cannon to go down, we're gonna s just keep attacking that nexus. Not sure if it's gonna be able to do too much with it, because there are gonna be reinforcements coming in. Don't think he's gonna be force, uh, gonna be able to force that nexus away, force a cancel or anything of the sort, but still be so, at least with some heads up play in that regard. Let's see, moving in with some with his own reinforcement toward that 4 o'clock ba base of his end, still attacking that nexus at the 12 o'clock shuttle with no response to this yet. Man, the next could go down with one DT. That would be absolutely critical. And Bisu put, put Bisu in a pretty good position. Is going to force a cancel on that next. As Bisu doing a great job of denying that one. With just, for, unfortunately for Shuttle, not moving with him. For the report that has a lot of Shuttle. That he knows that base will not be too important if he manages to take down all these forces. Storming on top of all of these Zealots. They can't act with blockers as much. A huge amount of storms. And crops all the good storm on the Reaver. Reaver's going to go down, had one Scarab come off before that, but Bisu is not enough on the ground. No way, does not have enough on the ground. Has some Zealots coming in, pushing in very close to the Dragoons, forcing them to micro away, but still just not enough. Very few forces just slowly but surely trying to push Shuttle back, but with only Zealots to support yourself. Has an Archon in there as well, but only Zealots and that, that's not enough. DT yet again <laughs> going to run around the Tolka position, going to try to run, but actually runs by those Dragoons. Gonna spot the probe! Goodbye, probe. Yet again, denying that expansion for a little while. Bisu, meanwhile, gonna be able to take up his third. Just has to be very careful not to make sure. Has to fight Shuttle back because that, that fact that he's denying that third of Shuttle is not gonna be, become an absolute non factor if he doesn't manage to fight this back. He does have a very short resupply route, but really needs to be careful. Has to take those <laughs> High Templar out as well, so no more storms come up. But only the three Dragoons to fight back. His probe's gonna come off the line. There's one more cannon to support. More Dragoons gonna come off the line from the high ground. Probe's gonna be forced to fight back against these Dragoons. Well, has a Reaver on top there. Has a shuttle coming out as well, so we're gonna see what. 
Hopefully he manages to save this base. Well, nothing but a single reaver. That one single reaver might completely save his life. If he manages to do it, more has a lot more dragoons coming up. Sh oh no! Storm coming down. Oh, the force is coming down, and the reaver dies. Get some more scarabs out there. Still, Beast has some more dragoon reavers coming in alongside, but reaver literally he had to keep that reaver alive. Beautiful storm so far by Shadow this entire game. Beast has lost a lot of probes at this point. So the expansion, I don't think, don't think really has any sort of mining at this point. Still fighting about a lot of probes. More info is coming down there for shuttle. Dragoons and a lot of high Templar as well. Beast are losing a lot of probes. And actually, uh, he's micring a little bit of Zealots. Zealots not being able to come down that ramp. But at the very least, for now, he's going to be able to fight shuttle back. Oh yeah, is is mining at this rocket base. Put down a couple of cannons there as well, preemptively. Shuttle still don't think he has a fourth base up. So at the very least, Beast who has a mine. He lost a lot of probes there. But he's still going to have some decent economy going. Shuttle just now getting his uh, Nexus up on that occasion is going to be transferring some probes, but really Shuttle taking advantage of his early High Templars, uh, really doing a fantastic job with those storms, absolutely fantastic job with those storms. Also believe he's been, uh, I think he's been a little bit ahead of Bisu, definitely had weapons one before Bisu did. But it didn't spot fully the upgrades on those armies. Actually, Shuttle going to move down towards Bisu for a quick position. D Bisu has to fight this off storm on top of all of his forces. Z did Microsoft with Zealots, but another storm. Double storm on top of all those Zealots. Ripping all those to pieces. More storms on top of those Zealots. And Bisu cannot be happy about this. Being ripped to pieces by nothing but storms. And oh, storm has enough to left over to storm the probes so now peace has lost always forces some more one what one reinforce one reinforce two reinforcement dragoons and dt there's a cannon there at the back but i don't think this is going to be enough the archon's going to go down shuttle with weapons two to beast's weapons one so he's ripping beast's army to pieces and gg from bisu shuttle moving out to the round of 16 oh man upset city <laughs> oh that's what the msl is it's upset city no matter what you think, guys, it is upset city. It's what happens. Peace is going to go a little bit. Ah, kidding me. So he's going to move on to the final match. We're going to see who he faces there. But nice game there for Shuttle. Uh, Peace was denying that third base of his, so beautiful play by him. But really, those storms were pretty much the only thing that gave him the match. Peace, unfortunately, not managing to utilize his reavers as well as he would have wanted to. I think he had too much tech, pretty much. Was going for some archons of his own on the ground. Just had too much tech, so he couldn't quite keep up the army amount. Should have just stuck to heavy reavers and nothing else. Would have had more of a shot there. there. But seriously, absolutely beautiful storming. Totally bringing Shuttle to the game there. So beautiful. And we're going to see how he, what he brings to the round of 16. If he gets a Protoss opponent, he might actually move on forward. But we're going to see what happens. So GG guys, wrenching out, thus listening. Hope you enjoyed. Moving on to the losers and funnel matches.